The Bluebeam Administrator tool provides featured tools which allow backend settings customization and basic administrator abilities, such as registering and unregistering review, activating different plugins, configuring network settings for review, managing reviews PDF printer settings, and more. It's important to note that you should only adjust these properties if you know what the intended settings are used for. To open the administrator tool, go to Review Administrator. If Review is not open, use the Start menu and navigate to the Bluebeam folder. From here, click on Bluebeam Administrator. To get started, go to Tools, Register. This will activate a seat of review on this computer, giving you full access. Enter in the serial number, product key, and computer number. Then click Register. If you need to release a seat to use it on another computer, go to Tools, Unregister. This way, you can activate review on another computer with the same serial number and registration key. Note that this process can be done within review as well, under the Review menu. To customize Review's plugin options, open the Plugins tab. A number of plugins appear, corresponding to the programs installed on your computer. To deactivate a plugin, uncheck it from the list. To edit review settings, click on the Review tab. From here, you can enable review as the default PDF viewer, reset review back to the default settings, backup customized settings, or restore previously backed up settings. If you do need to reset review back to default, Click Reset Settings. Review will automatically back up the current setting. If you need to review the event log, click on File, Show Log. If you need to send logs directly to Bluebeam's Review Tech Support, click on Email Logs to Support. This automatically produces zip folders in an email with the information needed by Tech Support to review the issue. Add notes about the issue at hand, then send it off. To open the folder that contains the log files, click Explore Log Folder. If you leave Extended Debugging On enabled, additional debugging data is kept in the log files. If you're running more than one version of review, you can select which settings to edit using the drop down menu. From the Printer tab, you can adjust printer settings, reinstall the PDF printer, stop and start the port monitor, or customize image resolutions. Remember, if you don't know what a setting does, it's best to leave it alone or get help on the matter. From the Printer Options section, there are a few options you can enable or disable. Click the Folder Options to define the default location of printed PDF files. Saving the file to the source folder will save the created PDF to the same folder as the source document, while selecting the Last Saved Folder option will save the PDF to the last saved location of a created PDF. If you select Custom Projects Folder, you can click the Folder button to navigate to your desired location. In this case, click Source Folder, then OK. Under the Image Resolutions, you can add or delete recognized resolutions and reset it to default settings if needed. The Printer section shows the names of the PDF printer, the driver, and the port used by the printer. You can also clear print jobs if needed. With administrator access to your computer, you can reinstall the printer, which is helpful if the printer name field is blank or otherwise running into issues. You can also change the default page size for the printer from the drop-down menu. If you do change this, it will cause the printer to reinstall, which again requires administrator access. In this case, leave it as letter. With administrator access, you can manage the pages review recognizes. Click Manage Pages. From here, a list of recognized page sizes appears. To add a page size, click Add. Give the new page size a name. Specify the units used, be it millimeters or inches, 
Then give the page measurements. You can also edit or delete many of the pre-installed pages. If you have the page size's location set to a shared location on a network, all users pointing at that folder will have access to the new page definition after it's been added. This can be a powerful mechanism for adding specific page sizes that your company uses, making it available to everyone connected to that network immediately. Back in the Printer tab, under Port Monitor, you can see the status of the Port Monitor. If the Bluebeam printer is failing or the status does not say Responding, then click Restart. This will change the process ID number. You can also stop monitoring the port if needed. Click the Net Config tab. Here, you can configure centralized network settings. This will allow you to make a single change to one network location and then make it immediately available to everyone on that network, bypassing the need to make changes on each individual workstation. Note that by default, Settings are not centralized. To centralize all customizable Bluebeam settings, select the Manage Net Configuration option. Then select the desired folder. If you only want to centralize some of the settings, click on the Select Folder option to edit the desired setting. In this case, click the Change Folder icon for email templates. Then navigate to the desired folder. Click OK. A Copy All Files dialog box appears, asking if the file should be copied, merged, or not copied. For this instance, there is no save settings for this, so click No Copy. When working with centralized settings, it's good practice to make these folders read only, so users can't accidentally make changes. If you need to reset the settings back to default, you can do that here.